right, so there was an orc named Gromosh, and Gromosh was the fiercest warrior. He was the leader of the warriors for the orcs, and the, the name of his clan was called Horde, and he wanted to keep his people safe, but then the Alliance, which is the name of the other clan, they they had like elves, gnomes, humans, and is this the first place because it doesn't make any sense if it's the if it was the two place. No, it's the first one. So so first place the first story is how Hell Scream I mean a Gromosh how he he wanted to keep his people safe and everything was okay, but then he saw that the alliance were moving in on his and on his land and his people so he had to get the fiercest warriors they were top level warriors and they were all different kinds there were wizards and warlocks and more warriors and death knights they were just yeah they're death knights and they were different kinds like undead they were um there were trolls and there were dark elves it was just it was just wild it was wild because there were so many different ones with all these different powers and some of them were good with a big shield and a sword some of them were healers that they could heal and some of them were shamans Yeah. Oh, we, we the guy in the, the cave in the right, right, exactly, just like that guy. So they were so so they said we're gonna go, and we're gonna make a raid against the alliance. We're gonna go and take them out. So this was the fiercest dungeon that they had ever faced, and they had a lot of trash mobs. Like a lot of them that they needed to defeat. And they go and they started defeating these elite trash mobs. And the loot was incredible. The gear that they were getting was like gear that they've never received ever before. And then they had to go and towards the last level they had to get on the back of this dragon. And they had to defeat the there were animals like like lava tentacles on the back of the of the of the what you call it of the dragon so they had to defeat them and then they also had to defeat another dragon named Anixia and it was just Is it like that game the you yes just like that game and then Finally, they make it to the last boss. And half of the raid, the horde raid, had died off. They were down to one tank, one healer, and two DPS. To, oh, a warlock and uh, oh, no. okay. Someone has sharp claws. Yes, sharp claws. And there was a... Um, there was a rogue. Maybe there was another DPS, you know. A rogue, a wizard, and a warlock. An affliction warlock. And so he goes, and then they start the fight against the last boss. And there were 12 different phases to this last boss. And phase one, phase two, phase three. And they were fighting, but their mana was low and their health was even lower. And they were, they found, they were getting lucky. They found some health pots, some, some mana pots. And then right when the rogue was DPSing, he got too close. Because he had to get in close to get him with the dagger. He was grabbed by the boss grabbed and they threw him 
in one shot threw him across the whole room, the whole dungeon, and he fell in this room that was full of baby dragons. And all of those baby dragons woke up and ate him. They all ate him. Right. And then they had no other choice, but they had to. They had to take the healer and say, you're going to DPS. You're going to do damage. No more healing. That means nobody's going to get healed. That means we're, we, we're going to die in about 30 seconds. But with your extra damage, we may be able to win. This is all or nothing. Everybody's damage. Everybody's doing damage. And even after a few seconds, the tank put away his one-armed weapon and his shield, took out a two-handed weapon, and, and DPS. And they were doing damage, 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 and the boss was like, ha, 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 ha. Uh, you don't have a healer and you don't have a shield. Ah, and he goes and he kills, he kills the priest, the healer. <laughs> kills him. Ah, but he was so busy laughing, he didn't realize his life was dropping fast. He was down to 10%, but they were down to just Three DPS. They had the warrior. They had the warlock. And they had the wizard. 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 Yeah, no. And then the wizard. He was next to, to go. The boss bit off his head. The wizard dropped. He's dead. But now he's down to 5% health. Then. Right then. They get a critical hit. And. They do crit damage. And then he drops the 1%. But then he's able to defeat the warrior. Beats him. He kicks him so hard, his arms fall off. And now it's just a warlock. But now he's down to 1%. It's dropping. It's dropping. But he quickly does a deep breath on the warlock. And the warlock dies. And he's there and he says... Ha, 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 I win. He didn't realize that the warlock put a curse on him. That was a damage over time. And the damage over time still had five more ticks of damage left. Tick one brought him down to 20 life. Tick two, 10 life. Tick three, five life. Tick Two brought him to three life. Tick one was a crit tick of damage and it killed him. He exploded immediately. He released 54 pieces of loot, all legendary. And the warlock had put a soul stone on the healer. So the soul stone, the healer was able to click his soul stone and it resurrected him. And now he was resurrected and he was able to do a mass res on the whole group. And everyone was able to go and grab their loot. Because they beat the Alliance Evil Lord. What do you think? <laughs>